Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so may the Lord Christ bless you and I. May he keep punching Satan in the face again and again. It's really fun to watch that. Um, all right, now, um, with that said, we have a really fun integral here uh, from an MIT integration B uh, problem. And let's get on with it. Okay, now, uh, to start, notice that we've called our given integral i. And i is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of cosine theta d theta. What? Just change the sine to cosine? You could do that in this particular integral? Yes. And here's um, why. Uh, remember, uh, we've used this property of uh, integration before, but the integral from 0 to a of f of x dx is the same as integral 0 to a of f of a minus x dx, right? Uh, we've used this property before, um, but yeah, uh, let me show you using this property why these two integrals are the same. Well, so really, um, what's affected, right, is um, that we would have sine of, sine of, and it's going to be uh, pi over 2 minus theta, right? And applying this property here to this given integral, right, the a minus x would become like um, a minus theta in this part. So really our concern is showing that uh, sine of um, sine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to uh, cosine of theta. So this is what we're really after, right? So let's focus on that. Because if we show that this is true, then clearly the two integrals are the same as long as this property is true. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Now, um, Obviously, we can use like the sine angle difference formula, but I think like the best way to do it, or the funnest way, is if we uh, look at the visual, right? So like, um, let's say that this is pi over two, um, right? If this were true, then we know that sine looks something like this, right? Sine looks like that. Okay, All right, it's like a haircut when I draw. No, um, so annoying about precision, um, but it matters, it matters, right? Okay, 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 okay. So, so that sine and cosine looks like this, right? Okay, now, first, notice that what I wrote here, sine of um, pi, over, pi over 2 minus theta, um, I can write like this, which is, I could write it as sine of, um, the negative of uh, theta minus pi over 2, right? Uh, this here, the left side of the equal sign, is the same as what I just wrote down, right? Okay, but then we know that sine is odd, so sine of negative x is equal to the negative of sine x. So if I apply that property, then I can write that this is the same as negative of sine of theta minus pi over 2. And from here, we can think transformationally. In other words, we can think of this here as a transformation of the sine graph. Uh, this is what we've done to the sine graph and this transformation. We've shifted it uh, to the right by pi over 2. So that means that, for instance, this point here would move to right here, right? Uh, that's a shift to the right of pi over 2. So this point moved to there, right? And then this minus sign in front uh, will reflect this over the x-axis. And when we do, if my drawing was precise, we would land on the cosine graph, yeah? And of course, if we did that to every point on the sine graph, right? If we applied this transformation to every point on the sine graph, every point would land on the uh, cosine graph. And therefore, we've just demonstrated this, that this is in fact true. Um, right? Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 um, yeah. So, this integral is the same as that integral. Well, that's useful because if uh, c'est vrai, if that is true, then, then uh, we could write that um, 2i, right? <laughs> 2i um, is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of um, sine theta plus the natural log of 
uh, cosine theta, um, uh, and then d theta. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, perhaps like y'all don't watch my log videos because you're like advanced math students, but like I made a lot of great log videos and like yeah, watch them, yeah. But yeah, in uh, those uh, are covered. Um, all the log rules and their proofs and so on. So like, like yeah, here we could apply the log, what's called product rule, right? So then we could write next that 2i, right? 2i is equal to um, 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of sine theta times cosine theta. Yeah. Yeah? OK, now uh, remember from trigonometry that um, 2 sine theta cosine theta is sine 2 theta. So if we use that, then we could write the 2i is equal to 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of um, sine 2 theta divided by 2 d theta. All right? OK, cool, cool, cool. And then now we use another log property called the log quotient rule. And actually, I want to continue writing here. I'll just go up. So, um, um, uh, sorry. Okay, okay. So, so then 2i, 2i is equal to uh, 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of um, sine 2 theta d theta, and then minus, minus pi over 2 natural log of 2. Why? Um, yeah, that's true. Because um, this right-hand side, right, is um, using the log quotient rule. Uh, inside here, we could do the natural log of sine 2 theta, and then minus the natural log of 2. That's a log quotient rule. But then the second part with the minus, following the minus, is just minus uh, the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of 2 d theta. Natural log of 2 is a constant. So its integral is natural log of 2 times theta. And when we evaluate that from 0 to pi over 2, we get um, pi over 2 natural log of 2, right? Uh, but because of the log quotient rule, we have that minus sign. Yeah, OK, OK, OK. You should be able to follow. All right, all right. So, 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 so. Um, so now what? Well, next we can write that 2i is equal to integral from 0 to pi of um, natural log of uh, sine u uh, du over 2, and then minus, of course, pi over 2, natural log of 2. So what? What did, you, what did I do this time? Well, just simple u substitution. I let 2 theta equal u, and if you do, then this would happen. Uh, for example, the pi over 2 will turn to pi because, well, u is 2 theta, so 2 times pi over 2 is pi. Right? Okay, the rest is, well, you should know your substitution. Okay, okay, okay. So, so like, this divide by 2 here, I could write as a 1 half right here, right? Okay, okay. Um, otherwise, uh, here's a very uh, cool other part of this integral, which is, well, <coughs> sorry, guys which is, um, let's look at the graph of, let's look at the graph of Jesus Christ. OK. Um, let's look at the graph of the natural log of sine x. So if you graph the natural log of sine x, it's going to look like this. Um, so let's graph it uh, where we're interested, which is from 0 to pi, so that we could understand this integral 0 to pi visually. Right, so like, in fact, let's use u axis and y axis. Well, notice that if this here, right here, is pi, uh, then the area, um, the area to the left of this point from zero to here is the same as the area from this point to this point. This point happens to be pi over two. Again, to realize this visual here. Uh, you could graph the natural log of sine x, and you'd find that it's this curve. So the integral from 0 to pi of the natural log of sine u du is the area of this plus the area of that. Right? Oh, how nice, because then that means that 2i is equal to 1 half 
this one half. And then instead of integral from 0 to pi, uh, we can go integral from 0 to pi over 2. That's this area, but we want to say the area from 0 to pi, so we could just say double this area from here to here, right? And so I put the 2 for the double, and then otherwise I could say ln of uh, sine theta uh, d theta, right? But I have 2i here, so I must also at the end have minus, um, right? Yes, I switched from u to theta, but that's just the change of variables, right? Like, okay, okay. Uh, so it's just renaming the axis. Okay, okay. Um, the x-axis in particular. So one half and two take care of each other, right? Okay. But wait. <laughs> this here, right? That's exactly i. So what we have is 2i is equal to... It's equal to i minus pi over 2 ln of 2. Well, upon subtracting, let me scoot this closer in case you're unable to see what we have is 2i on the left. But yeah, upon subtracting i from both sides of this, we see that i is equal to uh, <laughs> that. So that's our answer. Yeah? Cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. It wasn't so fun writing little chalk.